Hello world. In the grand tale of technological progress, it's often the unexpected twist that leads to the most remarkable breakthrough. Sometimes the most groundbreaking inventions aren't the result of careful planning or years of research. They are happy accidents that catch us by surprise. Imagine forgetting your USB drive and ending up with a billion dollar idea or failing to create a strong adhesive but inventing something even more useful. Let's explore stories of tech innovation that started off one way but ended up changing our world in unforeseen ways. Back in the day, Dr. Spencer Silva was working hard in 3M labs, aiming to create a super strong adhesive. Instead, he came up with a glue that was pretty weak. It stuck to surfaces but could be peeled off without leaving a trace, not exactly the powerful adhesive he had in mind. For years, Silva searched for a use for his not-so-sticky glue. Enter Arthur Fry, a colleague frustrated by bookmarks that kept falling off his hymn book during choir practice. Then came the light bulb moment. And Fry realized that Silver's adhesive could make a bookmark that stayed put without damaging the pages. And just like that, the humble post-it note was born. A product now so common that it's hard to imagine office life without those little colored squares. Picture this, a small team of developers forced their hearts into creating an online game called Glitch. Despite their efforts, the game doesn't take off, but amid the disappointment, they notice that the internal communication tool they built to collaborate on the game is incredibly useful. Stuart Butterfield and his team decide to pivot, turning their in-house messaging app into what we know now as Slack. Today, it's one of the leading communication platform for teams worldwide. Who would have thought that a failed game would give birth to a tool that keeps businesses running smoothly? Percy Spencer was a self-taught engineer working on radar technology during World War II. One day, as he stood near an active radar set, he noticed the chocolate bar in his pocket had melted. Curious as ever, Spencer decided to experiment by placing popcorn kernels near the radar equipment. Pop, pop, pop! The kernels exploded into fluffy popcorn. Realizing the potential of his accidental discovery, Spencer went on to invent the microwave oven. Nowadays, it's hard to find a kitchen without one, all thanks to a melted chocolate bar and a dash of curiosity. Hold on to your hearts, folks. Did you know that Apple's virtual assistant, Siri, started as a military project? Funded by DARPA, the US Department of Defense Advanced Research Agency, Siri was initially designed to assist soldiers by providing quick access to information. It wasn't until Apple saw the technology's potential for everyday use that Siri found a new home in our pockets. Now, she or he, depending on your settings, helps millions of people set reminders, send texts, and answer random trivia questions like what's the meaning of life? Talk about an unexpected career change. Artificial intelligence was supposed to crunch numbers, analyze data, and maybe predict stock market trends. But somewhere along the line, AI decided to pick up a paintbrush. Algorithms initially designed for data analysis have been repurposed to create stunning pieces of art, giving rise to a new field known as AI-generated art. Galleries now showcase these digital masterpieces, blurring the lines between human creativity and machine learning. It's as if the computer said, well, crunching data is fine, but have you seen my impressionist face? In the labs of Pfizer, scientists were working on a medication to treat angina, a heart condition causing chest pain. The drug didn't perform as expected in clinical trials, but participants reported an unexpected side effect that affected another kind of performance. Realizing the commercial potential, Pfizer quickly shifted focus and those Viagra hit the market. Originally intended to help the heart, it ended up improving the quality of life in a different way. Sometimes, Medicine works in mysterious ways. Douglas Engelbart wasn't trying to invent a pointing device that would become essential to personal computing. No, no, no. He was exploring ways to improve how humans interact with computers in general. In 1964, he created a wooden shell with two metal wheels, affectionately called the mouse, because the cord looked like a tail. But little did he know, this small gadget would become a standard accessory with 
every computer sold. It's almost amusing to think that such a simple device emerged from a quest to enhance our interaction with the machine. Sometimes the smallest inventions have the biggest impact. When Brian Chesky and Joe Gebbia couldn't afford the rent on their San Francisco apartment, they had an idea. Why not rent out a mattresses in their living room to visitors attending a design conference in town? They added breakfast to sweeten the deal and voila, a bed and breakfast was born. What started as a makeshift solution to pay the bills evolved into Airbnb, a global platform that has transformed the hospitality industry, not to shabby for a couple of guys just trying to make ends meet. Huh? Autotune was created by Dr. Andy Hildebrandt, a seismic data expert who used sound waves to find oil underground. He developed software to correct pitch imperfections subtly. But then came Cher's 1998 hit Belief, where Autotune was used not to fix but to intentionally alter her voice. The music industry took notice and the robotic vocal effect became a mainstay in pop hip-hop and beyond. A tool meant to be invisible became a signature sound, changing music in ways no one expected. When IBM developed Watson, the goal was to create a computer system capable of answering questions posed in natural language. To showcase its capabilities, Watson competed on the quiz show Jeopardy and won against champion Ken Jennings. But Watson's journey didn't end there. The technology was adapted for healthcare, helping doctors diagnose diseases and tailor treatment plans. A game show gimmick turned into a life-saving tool. Talk about leveling up. Sony and Nintendo once planned to collaborate on a gaming console. However, the partnership fell apart, leaving Sony with a partially developed system. Rather than abandon the project, Sony decided to enter the gaming market on its own. The result? The PlayStation, a console that revolutionized gaming and became a household name. Sometimes a breakup leads to the best kind of breakthrough. Drew Houston was a student who kept forgetting his USB drive. Frustrated, he began developing a way to access files from any computer without needing physical storage. This personal inconvenience led to the creation of Dropbox, a cloud storage service now used by millions. What began as a solution to a common problem evolved into a company that changed how we store and share files, all because someone couldn't remember to check his pockets before living the house. Originally developed by Denzel Wave to track automotive parts, quick response or QR codes found a second life in marketing and consumer engagement. These pixelated squares now appear on everything from museum exhibits to restaurant menus. Artists have even incorporated QR codes into their work, creating interactive pieces that blend the physical and digital worlds. Not bad for a tool that started on the factory floor. Linus Torvalds created Git to help manage the development of the Linux kernel. It was a tool designed to meet his specific needs without any intention of becoming a worldwide standard. Today, Git underpins much of the collaborative software development process. Platforms like GitHub and GitLab rely on it, enabling developers around the globe to work together seamlessly. Sometimes solving your own problem ends up solving everyone's problem. When blockchain technology was first introduced, it served as the ledger for Bitcoin transactions. But innovators soon realized that blockchain's secure, decentralized nature had applications far beyond cryptocurrency. Now blockchain is used in supply chain management, voting systems, and even to verify the authenticity of art. It's as if the invention of paper money led to the creation of the entire banking industry. The original idea was just the beginning. The Kinect sensor for Xbox was designed to let players interact with games using body movements, but researchers and developers saw potential beyond entertainment. In hospitals, Kinect has been used for physical therapy, allowing patients to perform exercises that are tracked in real time. Surgeons have utilized it to navigate through medical images without touching a screen, maintaining sterility. A gaming device transformed into a medical tool. Now that's the repurposing on another level. 
Keyhole Inc., funded by the CIA for geospatial visualization, developed software that caught Google's eye. After acquiring Keyhole, Google launched Google Earth, putting satellite imagery and mapping tools into the hands of anyone with an internet connection. What started as a tool for intelligence agencies became a platform for education, exploration, and even environmental activism. The world became a little smaller and a lot more accessible. Algorithms initially designed for data processing are now composing symphonies. AI-generated music has found its way into film scores, video games, and personal playlists. Composers use AI to overcome creative blocks or to generate ideas in styles they aren't familiar with. It's like having a silent partner who is a maestro in every genre, ready to jam at a moment's notice. Isn't it fascinating how the wind of chance can steer the ship of innovation? These stories remind us that the path to greatness is rarely straightforward. It's full of detours, unexpected turns, and sometimes happy little accidents. So the next time you stumble upon a problem or face a setback, remember, you might just be on the brink of something extraordinary. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to check out the next one. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a bite.